Hello there fellas, today we are going to be doing a building tutorial on this design of a watchtower that I created a while back and I would like to share it with you guys. So, you know, it's a very simple design, you know, it's like a watchtower, it's got like this like little integration of stone, like as if it was there for a long time, like some leaves to show that it was, it's an old structure and let's get right into the building. So first of all, I want to grab some spruce logs, simply. Do one, then three blocks across, then three. So basically, in the middle would be like a three by three area. Now you want to make these logs eight tall. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. And then do it all. Do it to all four sides. And like that. Next. Really simple, grab some spruce trap doors. I put them on the four blocks. So one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four. Right there, boom, put them just like that. Like this, all four corners. And then at the very top on the eighth block. Okay, next we will be doing the base of the thing, which in here it's made of stone bricks and cracked stone bricks. So grab some of those. Really, really simple design. So let's say you want to make this side your entrance. It doesn't matter. All the sides are the same. Choose whichever one you want to make your entrance. And just place the blocks. Now you don't have to do it exactly how I do it. You can just place whatever like that, for example, and then there, there. Most of these bricks were, will only be visible from the inside, so it doesn't matter at all which way you place them. Like that, for example. I can take a spruce door, any door actually. Spruce just looks the best, and uh, put it like that. Or you can put it like this. Doesn't matter, both ways works. Now, you also want to grab a spruce fence gate because these ones we will be using these as windows instead of actual like window panes you can you can use like whatever you want as windows i just prefer the spruce uh, fences and uh for the actual walls i chose like a a diorite block scheme because you know diorite's it's not one of the nicest looking blocks and i just decided to try to make it look good so and uh you don't have to make follow exactly how I do it as well. You can just do whatever you want. You can place them randomly. It just looks nice like that. Um just place it on all four sides, you know, it doesn't matter how you place it. It will look nice. It will look good either way. Some of that, some white concrete powder, like that. Very, very simple. Place another thing there. Concrete powder, boom, polish stairs, and another diorite thing right there. Okay, now that we're done, sort of like the first layer, you want to take some barrels and you want to place them like this so on top of the thing and the best part about these barrels is that you know they look, they look good they look good from the outside they kind of match with the little trapdoors and you can use all of them for storage so integrated storage into your builds now another material you want to grab is white concrete as well as uh in the 1.17 update, they added these calcite blocks, which look really, really nice. They would fit really well into this build. I didn't use them because I made this design uh, before calcite was in the game. So, next. So, now let's start building the second layer. Oh, I'm missing trapdoors here. Let's start building the second layer of the walls.
And there we go. We have the second like layer of the thing of the build ready. So once again, take some barrels, top it off like that to finish like the design. And you know, in terms of like these blocks, you can place them however, however like randomly. It doesn't matter at all. This is just sort of like the design that I came up with. Okay, now next, what you're going to want to do is grab some spruce. No, not logs. You want to grab some spruce planks and some uh, spruce stairs. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to sort of cover the top for now. We will uncover it for the stairs later. So stairs don't really matter right now. We'll finish them when we're done with the roof. Now I take the spruce stairs, just line it around. Just like that. And there we go. As well as you take, put, these are just placeholder blocks just to put the barrels on top for the corners of the design. You can place whatever block there. And there we have it now. Take some trap doors. Uh, you grab any random blocks, just place them here. And place the trap doors like that. They're like the, the trim of the actual tower itself. So, kind of like the railing. Yep, for the build. Okay, now we're done with the railing, we can proceed to uh, add some, actually no, we will do the, the brick wall stairs, stone brick wall, as we see in the corners here, you know, just looks nice, boom, place it like that, kind of gives it like a little bit of a transition between like using all this wood, just add like a little bit of extra color. Then you want some spruce slabs for the roof. And we will be making, making that in a second. For the roof you can use any random design, doesn't matter. And there you go, the roof is complete now. So, now what you can do is you can grab some lanterns. And uh, I like to place them a bit on the outside to add a bit of extra lighting on the outside. Just like that, under the little barrels. And on the inside of here, you're going to place them right there, right in the middle. Lights up the whole area. Now, we will start the inside. The inside is very, very simple. It's just some slabs you can use whatever slab you want just like to use the spruce because we did that for the rest of the build for like the top part okay just like that now for these blocks you just break the ones that are overhead for you place the slabs and boom your staircase is complete for this part you can grab some chains and uh, you can Hang them from the middle block, just like that. Three chains, and put a lantern down, and it basically lights up the whole area. For this little area, you can put like some little stuff here, like some storage or some crafting tables. Real easy. Or you can continue the staircase down. You can make it like a little basement if you want, which is really cool. Put like your enchanting table stuff in there, and up here is your like little area. You can place a bed here, crafting table, all your stuff. It's a nice little. You can look out, see there now another part is i like to add leaves because the leaves they look make the build look more older and add some character to it you can place them randomly you don't have to place them you can even break some of the slabs to add the leaves in to make it look like the building has been here for a long time and just add some extra detail example like right there break that just like this very 
very simple. Adding some weaves. You don't have to fill it up fully, just like this. You know, even though it doesn't match that, you can add leaves however you want. I like that even. And uh, the effect, even from the inside, when you look here, it kind of gives it like the effect that the place is starting to like break down a little bit. It's got like the wood starting to fall out. And just adds more character to the build in general. Okay. One of the last things is making these little like stone pillars like outside, which it looks nice and uh, adds a little bit more detail to the build. For example, like so this tower was built a long time ago and uh, it looks nice. So when I start off doing textures, for example, you can just what do we just use stone. And then after you're done, just change change the like change the box that you use. For example, like right now I'm just gonna build everything out of stone. And then you can take some cobblestone or some andesite and just place them in the places of the cobblestone to add more texture. Mm, we can make a little sand block there. Start there. And this can be completely random. You don't have to follow how I do it. So it's like that. Random little pillar. And also break some of these. Make it look as if the rocks are also on the ground. Not just there. You go something like this now you do you take some andesite some cobblestone some of this boom like that and uh we just sort of we just sort of replace the blocks that have already been placed so say take this block and place it with andesite there you go looks nice place that with uh whoops with cobblestone like that Make some of these some andesite slabs, maybe a cobble slab like that. There you go. Maybe make that cobblestone. Make this an andesite block. There you go. See, this part's already starting to have a little bit of texture into it. And there you go, we have something that looks, you know, pretty natural. One other detail I like to do is add some stone buttons. You know, they look like little pebbles. Place them wherever. Right there. And place them on the rocks. Like that. Boom. Boom. Well, not on the building. And there you go. That's pretty much done. You know, let's say you're... You built this on sand, you can't really bone meal, but you can bone meal it on the grass to add some texture, add some life to it. Maybe even make a little path coming to the thing. And there you go. There you have it, guys. This is pretty much the same build. 
this a tutorial. I hope it inspires you guys to, you know, make similar builds. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.